Hello, everybody. This is the Tiger Wolf 55, and we might be closing in on the end of this picture. It's been a long, long, long freaking journey, but we might finally be reaching the end as the only thing left to do really here is the metal bits. Well, let's see if we can't figure out how to get this done. All right. All right. Oop, just going to create a new layer here. And let's see. The reflections aren't going to be that strong. Because while they are wearing uh, steel and metal and stuff, eh, I don't think that it's that shiny and polished. Well, except for uh, maybe the silver belt bits. Welcome, Drew and Ty. How are you both doing? Yes, the long, long winding road. I need a theme song. <laughs> Tired? Hmm. What have you been doing that's got you tired, Ty? Maybe you were up all night watching some movies or something. Maybe you were uh, practicing your dance stuff. I don't know. Events and streams. Hmm. Yes, Clara was streaming today before I was, while I was at work. I think she did that intentionally, leaving me out. <laughs> it was me. I shouldn't talk about her like that. She's going to bed, so I, I can't talk about her behind her back like that. Um, well, hopefully you're able to get some good rest at least, though. And uh, Drew, I know that you got uh, places to be later on. I do thank you guys for uh, stopping by and saying hello at least. Uh, so, yes. Meanwhile, in, in the city of Townsville. Yes, and fun streams those were, too. Too bad I, the first one had to run into technical difficulties, and I missed most of the second one due to watching The Greatest Showman instead. I don't regret that decision, however, as that was an excellent, excellent movie. I mean, I love my uh, superhero movies and stuff, but The Greatest Showman was just... It lives up to the name. I, I really think that it does. Hello, Xander. How's it going? Yeah, most people that 
that have seen it have liked it. The biggest complaint that I've heard, I haven't even seen, I've just heard that there have been some complaints about the fact that it doesn't follow the story of P.T. Barnum uh, precisely or it glorifies him. Uh, and some people have a problem with that. And I'm just like, oh, well, it's still an awesome movie. Oh, funny. That's my sister's favorite song out, out of the film, too. I th think that they had a really good energy about it. That's why. I didn't realize that Zac Efron could actually do something good. <laughs> and heck, even Zendaya, who I thought was an absolute waste in uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, she was great in this movie, too. I don't think there was a single bad element about the movie. Um, Hairspray was decent, but Zac Efron barely registered in that movie. He was there to be a thing for Tracy to go gaga over. That was it. He, he had one song, and you couldn't even hear him for most of it. So, yeah. Hairspray was great, but not because of Efron. Yeah, you could... At this movie, you could feel the, uh, that was Tracy. Now I'm talking about if Zac Efron, Zac Efron had one song all to himself in Hairspray and, um, I don't even remember what it was. Um. It, it was just a background song. Multiply. Hey, I said multiply here. What's going on? Oh, man. Drew. Drew. Remember what I was mentioning to you before about the fact that uh, if I'm watching Dragon Ball Z and I'm watching Goku and Vegeta eat, I, I get hungry. Fox, you are now guilty of doing the same. Congratulations. I, I hope that you're satisfied with yourself. Yes, it does sound delicious, and that's just the problem. Of course you grin at that. Of course. You enjoy my misery. My suffering.
I know that's a chicken, but it looks like a shrimp. Okay, the fox in the fedora is able to come up with a fox smiley face that looks kind of angry. Seriously, that, that thing looks like it's glaring at me. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Normal. Yeah, see? Oh, I'm pretty sure my mother would say that I can. I do thank you, though. Let's see your avatars. Uh, Ty, um, if you're trying to relay a message to me through that, I'm sorry, I'm not a code breaker. I have no idea what you're saying there. Oh, uh, no, thank you. Um, let me ask, it's turkey bacon. I'll eat that. But bacon is much more a uh, husky thing. So, and Conan isn't here today. Forever. Conan never shows up to these things. <laughs> that is my pay. Um, hmm. Let me get back to you on that one, Xander. Um, I'm not sure if you wanting to eat bacon should count. Okay, that I will take. Thank you, Ty. I will always take pizza. And burger and fries are good, too. Bacon is usually a win, but I am not a usual tiger wolf, am I? I am unique. Okay. Probably because uh, the the mobile has a different kind of contract, I guess. I don't know. Thank you, Drew. It's uh, taken a little while to get here, but I am overall satisfied with the result. Just not my progress or speed of which. The face is a woman in a trench coat. Yeah, I'm going to say that uh, it changed up a bit.
thing with the metal things is that you can't really do much in the way of blending together because it's metal. It's supposed to be reflecting everything. So it should actually be a little bit harder. That's not right. Okay, so... That's, that's looking all right. Simulate a little bit of a curve here. Ty, now you're just playing with your emojis to see what the difference is, and you're taking advantage of my live stream to do it. For shame. Uh, oh, uh, by the way, Fox, um, I shared the trailer with Elson, um, he's wishing us well, and hopes that we're able to make the profit on the venture. Which I think that we all are. Yes, emojis are everywhere. And unfortunately, they ended up in the cinema as well. Nobody wanted that. With that smiley face, now I'm picturing a plump little fox just contented because of the fact that he just ate a bunch of Chinese food. So, this, this month is nearly done. What the heck happened to January? I blinked it was the new year. I blinked again, all of a sudden January is over. I'm afraid that if I blink one more time, it's going to be Christmas in 2022. I'm going to be asking if we ever got a Man of Steel 2. Well, that means that Valentine's Day is coming up, and I don't have a special somebody. Uh, how about you people on the chat, and for those of you who have a uh, boyfriend or girlfriend, uh, any special plans for the uh, heart holiday? Oh, 
I guess it's also a little unfair for me to ask, considering the fact that some plans might end up being surprises. So, eh, I don't know if that that's okay for me to say, ask, or put anybody on the spot, as it were. So consider that question rescinded. I hear something. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, Drew? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Doing well so far. How about you? Still good. How about you? <laughs> Uh, seeing how many times I can get this to go around, that's that's how I'm doing. Yeah, I know exactly what you're doing. And please describe to me in 15 words what I'm doing. Exactly. Uh-uh, you're the commentator. I'm just here for the fun. Oh, buddy, you came to the wrong area if you came for fun. This is where fun goes to die. Oh, yeah. I don't believe that. <laughs> well, you should. This, this is a uh, no fun zone. <laughs> to be found here. Is that why you invited me? Ooh. Okay, that one's low. <laughs> you started it. Yes, and I think you just finished it. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, you can't. It, yeah. <laughs> Darn it. But nice try anyway. Oh, thank you. Mm. And I sense using the psychic abilities leached off of my sister, the Ninja Psychic Wonderloo, that we have another person joining us as well, a third party. You cannot hide. I see you, Fox. Hello. Um. H Hello. I'm still here. <laughs> okay. Um, that's good. I was beginning to think that I had lost my connection or something. I don't know if the fox is playing games or if his Delgado is playing games. We shall soon find out, I suppose. And you have found out. Wow, that was loud. <laughs> Sorry, rip headphone users, I guess. Which is everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Drew. It's okay, I'm just turning my volume down now. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Be ashamed, Fox. Look at what you've done. Yeah, yeah. I'm terrible. Yes. <laughs> you. <sighs> but you don't feel bad about it, do you? Mm -hmm. Do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Say that, uh, I'm also separating audio, so. Let's 
so you'd be a bit busy? Yeah. You're going to hear my keyboard a lot. Okie dokie. Well, in the meantime, Drew, you have been uh, re-watching some episodes of Dragon Ball Z, yes? Yeah, I'm taking a little break now. Binge-watching can really hurt the eyes. It can. Especially when uh, you have a lot of uh, bright flashing lights going on. No, we haven't <laughs> We haven't gotten to that yet. Actually, we're, we're just teetering on the line of that right now. But I wanted to stop it now because if I didn't, then I was going to keep going and then I would never stop. <laughs> Who's we? I... Oh, I don't know. That was weird. <laughs> don't worry, I do that I... too sometimes. Why did I say we? <laughs> well, um, I guess I wouldn't stop. Sorry, I do that too sometimes. It's, good. it's all good. Okay, Probably because so I got multiple personality disorders. I don't know. Who, 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 who are you talking to? <laughs> well, currently I, I'm talking to the personality that... Uh... We 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 like you know we're friends with. <laughs> when when we get to the personality that tries to jam my head into a pile of spikes, uh, let me know, please. <laughs> or maybe you got it all backwards. Maybe I'm really the bad one. <laughs> I wow. Had, I haven't uh, had any evidence to that idea, so I'm gonna have to say no. Box. What was the question, sir? No, seriously, what was the question? <laughs> Basically, do you agree that um, <laughs> the personality of Drew that we have right now is not a that of a psychotic villain? No. See? You don't know that. <laughs> I do know that because I am friends with a doctor. Um, I, I don't know how much faith I put <laughs> in that doctor. <laughs> I don't go to the doctor, so he hasn't diagnosed me, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust doctors. Well, uh -oh. why not? Hmm? Why don't you trust doctors? They're scary. Hey, why are doctors scary? They're not doing anything wrong to you. Mm. They're just scary. <laughs> I don't think they're that scary. Except when they uh, say that you need surgery in sensitive places. Oh, I'm sure I've got plenty wrong to diagnose, and I don't want to hear it from them. <laughs> Who would you rather hear it from? I'd rather live in ignorant bliss. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss, but it can be dangerous. Eh, that's okay. I'll take my chances. Very well. <laughs> I'm just not a big fan of hospitals in general, I guess. I, not about what they do. I just don't like being there. Bad experiences. Okay. But I don't want to make it serious. It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I do uh, like different topics being brought up uh, on on my streams. So, anything specific you want to talk about, or would you rather just leave it alone? Oh, no, I, I would. How? Oh, why talk about something fun? Don't you talk about something like that? That that really will make it boring and uh, disheartening. Very well. Uh, what shall we talk about then? You're the commentator. Yes, that means that I comment on the conversation that is being had. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-huh. 
Nope, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> I just made it easy because now I don't have to type. <laughs> <laughs> my position has not changed. He I just wanted to my be. Fingers. <laughs> he, just, he, didn't want, he, he just wanted to be here so he could enjoy a uh, you know, comfortable position and not have to uh, strain his fingers to type. So now he has got the best of both of them. <laughs> Just the way I like it. <laughs> Let nobody to stop me. I don't know. There's always the Spanish Inquisition. Well, no one expects that, so. <laughs> what about the armored tiger wolf on there in your picture? And um, he's too comfy. He doesn't want to get up out of his chair. I don't know too many people who expect him either. Stand up. <laughs> get out of that chair. Um, no. Right I don't want to. No. <laughs> then you're admitting you're not a good leader. <laughs> I never said I was. Then get out of that chair and face me. Why? Because it's the leaderly thing to do. Oh. So is this. As a leader. Rocco, sock him. Who's Rocco? Buff dude next to me. <laughs> and if he fails, I'm sending Lisa after you. <laughs> Rocco and Lisa. <laughs> oh, Got geez. your own little circus sideshow. That is so cute. Hey, I like the circus, so. And rightfully so, you should. You belong in the circus wearing that get up. Actually, I think I would belong in the circus no matter what. You know, uh, <laughs> dog face boy, wolf man kind of thing. I think a poor just... little wolf boy. Nobody understands him or respects him. I think you're looking for angst where there is none. Oh, I'm sure there's plenty of angst if I dig hard enough and deep enough. Mm, I'm afraid, though, that you did not come prepared with a shovel. <laughs> I don't need a shovel. You're gonna use a trowel? <laughs> it's symbolic! I think you mean metaphorical. Don't throw your dollar and 98 words in my face. <laughs> it's a, wow, the, you're able to determine the price of words? Yes, yes I am. Wow. I used to work at a bargain bin store. <laughs> had to go around with that stupid price tag discount thing and put it on all the items. Just as soon as they did that, they said, no, we're changing them again. <laughs> the item is nine ninety five, marked down from twenty. Uh, are you all right? After holiday sales are tough. No, I'm not all right, okay. You've seen things, haven't you? I what? You've seen things. Haven't oh you? yeah. One or two. Yeah, I thought so. <clears throat> Look, buddy. Um, I I think that you need to uh, go see. Blow something up? No, I was going to say see a therapist. Can um, I blow him up? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You know what? After you talk to him, yes. Yes, you can blow him Ooh, up. Good. Uh... <laughs> no, there is no time for doubting. We made the plan that we're going to stick to it. Look, I'm hoping that the therapist will be able to give him something that will calm him down, so hopefully he won't want to blow him up later on. Just play along, will you, Fox? Uh, there's about 20 different things I question here. <laughs> Look what I found in my pocket. Jumble, jumble, double cards. Hey, Tiger Wolf, these are yours. Well, 
<laughs> Look here. Universe crumbling. Run. <laughs> you uh, run and terrify. I just stand and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome both Warnot and Slate. Hi guys. <clears throat> so oh our... crap! I broke character. No. <laughs> Your method acting has failed you. No. Yes. <laughs> I've got oh. two of my peers here to help back me up, and I failed them both. Oh, good. They got the PlayStation thing fixed. Mm -hmm. They got uh, the PlayStation's been down all day. Uh, they fixed the Fortnite problems, but then PlayStation went all goofy. So um, they finally got that fixed. And this is why <clears throat> PC is Master Race. <laughs> Don't worry, they're catching up. <laughs> So you do you doing okay over there now? You are you, you still want to blow up therapists through or whoever you are? Is he still there? Hello. Eighty two. Oh. oh, there he is. He's oh, being sorry, goofy. I thought it was a math class for a second. <laughs> He's being goofy. Uh, teacher, I need to use the bathroom. Hold it. We're home. Oh, um, this is why I hire these people. My <laughs> eyes are already yellow. I'm sorry. Did you say your eyes are already yellow? Oh gosh. Oh jeez. What are we going what? into? I don't no, want to think you, about it. You, you I don't want to think about to go to the bathroom. This is an experiment now. I want to see wanna... what, how. Far but this it should go. be an experiment. It should be a regular, common thing. Eyes turning yellow? No, I don't think so. I'm trying to break a record here. Break a record for what? I don't know. Something. Well, I'll call Guinness and see if there's anything that uh, this would qualify for. Why would I want a beer? Wrong, Guinness. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <I> like it. <laughs> oh. Mm. Have fun with that. Hmm. <laughs> No, uh, okay, just a second. Yeah, to answer your question, Drew, yeah, it's been cool watching Dragon Ball Z again. I forgot how much I love that show. Yeah. It's really cool. Like, I mean, my God, the, the build-up that they do, though. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm seeing 20 episodes. When are you going to get there already? <laughs> They're going to get there when the manga has actually gotten that. Yeah. This, is why, exactly. this is why Sky would never want to watch it, because the filler would kill her. This is why she stopped watching Naruto, because there's too much filler. I said, yeah, well, we kind of start off this show with a lot of filler. Well, <laughs> yeah. wish, well that's, what, that's why I would recommend... Uh, Bringing her easy on Kai because Kai cuts out most of the filler. You only fill. No, out it makes it worth it. No, <laughs> because I'm. It, the, the the Kai cuts it up. Uh, okay, because it follows the uh, pacing of the original manga just fine. You still get awesome build up, uh, but you get less of the filler. I'm not doing it again. Okay, I, I I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Uh, I just I, I, they, I just stopped when Vegeta and Nappa just arrived on Earth. That was the last episode, and I'm like, oh, I can't start the next one. Or I'm never gonna get on this stream. <laughs> but it was like it was such a great payoff. It was like when Sam and Frodo finally make it to Mount Doom. It's like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I think it took about as long. <laughs> yeah, it felt like it. I feel a lot of it. It, it. It's good. Anyway, yeah. Uh... 
anyway, yes. The, oh. the actual the actual Chinese will be here soon so that I can eat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, about that. Um, <laughs> real on my way over here, I may or may not, probably may not, but we'll lean towards neutral right now, <laughs> have uh, cut off a very nice young man who was on his way to somebody, nobody in particular or important, of course, <laughs> to you drop just off to have that said said Chinese, didn't you? Chinese. Hey, I think you've heard this story before. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, I was a little hungry. I was fasting for the last two hours. So, you know, I was a little hungry. And, <laughs> yeah. You know, so, you know, some people are participating in the Daniel Fest, which lasts 21 days. I, I hate, I, I don't get that. That makes no sense to me. I love food and food loves me. I'm not, I'm never going to deny food to me. I'm never going to deny me to food. We, we are a match made in heaven. Mm -hmm. I wish I could say the same thing for my thighs, but you know. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Well, your thighs will just have to learn to deal with things on their own, I guess. <laughs> They're awfully cranky. Well, they need to get over themselves. <laughs> you tell them to get over themselves. Okay. <clears throat> Drew's, no, I'm not getting that close to the, those thighs. <laughs> nope, sorry. Nope. Mm -mm. Smart move. What kind of Chinese food are we having, then? I want to visualize um, and pretend I'm eating it in the air right now. <laughs> Go on. Uh, we bought the um, sweet and sour chicken, <laughs> uh, and uh, the 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 rice, the white rice. <laughs> I like jambalaya, but okay, that's good. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and that's usually what I just get from the Chinese. Uh, sweet and uh, sour. Mm-hmm. That is good. That that's uh, that's the sky's favorite. She loves sweet and sour. I like. What do I like? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what um, teriyaki? I like teriyaki a lot. And I tried this this peanut and orange chicken, something like that. I don't know. I wanted to try something different. Went to Pan Express a couple weeks ago, and I thought, well, I don't want to get the same old, same old. I wanted to get something different. Welcome to the Pan Express. You know, up until a few months ago, I, I have never actually been there. There's like a gazillion of them in the in the in the area, and never gone there. I don't know why. There's like a bunch is of restaurants. Is it delivered to you? Uh, is it, is it I, I think delivered to you by a panda. Oh, I would love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that would be so cute. It would be cute. Well, there's a bunch of new restaurants I've tried recently that have been around forever, and I never like like Qdoba, which is a like Mexican place that serves like tortillas and things like that. I love that. Right. And and I'm trying to think what some of the other ones we've tried. Yes, having a wife means you now are experimental. We're thinking outside the box. <laughs> that pizza four nights a week just ain't hacking it no more. If I ever get a wife, it's gonna hack. It's gonna what's gonna hack? Pizza four nights a week. <laughs> it doesn't you know work. Says. Maybe for the first week they'll say okay, but no. After that, uh -uh. I don't. I don't buy that. So she was gone this week in England. What do you think I was eating all week? <laughs> <laughs> I was making the most of it while I could. Sir, how many times have you been in this pizza parlor this week? Oh, no, no. I, I, was, I was trying, like, every avenue. Frozen pizza, delivery, uh, Lunchable pizza. Lunchable? Um, that, yeah, okay. Oh, that, yeah. That's just desperate. So what? I'm desperate. I never said I was, you know, not. Hmm. You can judge me all you like. I have no shame. I like cheap food. I'll even eat gas station pizza. Okay, now you're just taking your own life into your own hands. Well, whose hands should it be in? God's. 
Oh. Okay. <laughs> sure, get technical. I just did. Yes, you did. I'll get technical up in here. Yes, you did. All right. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't checking the, uh, the, the the chat. Hi, Slate. Um, call me whatever you like. Just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> you, 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 you can do any of that. Yeah. Have 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 fun. It have fun with it. Really. Just be careful like, of rights and permissions. <laughs> oh, because of dead eye. Well, you know, you don't want to go and just be like. I'm using another character, you know, it's like, uh-huh. Yeah, if you are going to try and do something with trigger, just try to make it like different from the one that already exists. If you or, can, you know, you got to just like get permission. I, I, Thank you, Xander. I, yes, food is food, especially when you're on a fixed income. Hello, ramen noodles. Here we come. Okay. <laughs> Okay, if you're on a fixed income, that's one thing, but I have to side with Beerus here. Um, y no, it Beer? Beerus, yes. Uh, the God of Destruction from Dragon Ball Super. Oh man, I'm all the way back on Arc 1, okay? Let me give me a year, I'll get there. <laughs> no, this, Jeez. No, this is a God of Destruction who knows his food, he is an Epicurean. I'm not quite an Epicurean, but I do appreciate good food. And yeah. I, I'm yeah. sorry, there is a difference between food that is actually good and good for you and tasty and junk that you put out on the driveway and a week later in the sweltering sun at 90 degrees, it's still just as good as when you put it there. There's something wrong with Well, that. I am part raccoon, so, you know. <clears throat> He's a wolf coon. Oh, I like that, yes. You know, I want to draw that. Uh, okay, Sky can't see this right now. Drew, do you want me to put that together and see if she'll go for that one? I don't know anymore. I feel like I should stop picking at it. But, bro, you'll never know unless you try. That's what scares me. What? Uh, if... <laughs> Um, proceed at your own risk. If you, if you have the, the time and the temperament to, to attempt it, by all means, have at it. Lord Beerus, she's a Lou. It's going to take what? me like five years to get to that. <laughs> that was the whole reason why I wanted to start watching DBZ again is because um, I want to get to... Uh, super because i have not watched any of that yet and i just really the more i hear about it the more kind of interested in i am in it i thought well i don't want to just jump right into it because it's been years since i've watched the and i'm thinking the whole time i'm watching dbc they have all these references to dragon ball and i'm going oh, i gotta go back and watch that now i forgot that it's coming right in the middle of the story with all the characters like i never watched dragon ball until years after dbc i didn't even know what it existed and I'm yeah. like, oh, is this, is this like a prequel story? I'm like, oh, this was maybe four. Yeah, I was kind of fortunate because by the time I got into Dragon Ball, Toonami was airing Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z right next to each other. Yeah, I remember when they did that. Yeah, that, 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 was, that was cool. I think I got into maybe about 97, 98, somewhere around there. Oh, yeah, I was late. I just remember, I think the first time I having like a like New Year's marriage, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, they were doing a DBZ marathon. That's when I first remember seeing it, and that was when they did the whole Frieza arc. And I think I sat down, binge, binge watched like 48 hours of that. I'm like, I have to watch more of this. <laughs> I think that's where it all started. I think I was like 9, 10 years old or something. I'm like, oh, I, I could not get enough of it. And then it just kept on going. It was really frustrating when they got to the, um, uh, the Majin Buu arc because they only had dubbed over a certain number of episodes and then they stopped mm -hmm. and then instead of going forward they went all the way back to the beginning of the series all the way back when Raditz first comes I'm like what did they just do no go back 
Keep going. I'm, sh I'm sure that was frustrating for you, but that was actually very beneficial for me because guess when I was able to get into probably I, I remember you say right right there and then that was like 2001, 2002, I think when they did that. So yeah, yep. that yeah. Well, well, yay you then I guess I guess they yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was able to catch the. Uh, I want to say from the beginning of the real fight with Frieza up until uh, when Frieza was finally killed. Uh, well, presumably killed. Not, not Yeah, now he's times. back again. I'm like, how many times? <laughs> well, the, uh, let's see. The reason why uh, Toriyama actually brought Frieza back was actually because of a song that he heard. And it's actually referenced in uh, Team Four Star uh, Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Oh. And what was this song? I uh, Mighty it, Mighty Frieza. It, basically that, yeah. It was a hard metal song, uh, just basically singing about what what a tyrant Frieza was. Very interesting. I guess it's just like man. I killed off like my Moriarty character. I need to bring that back. <laughs> and they brought him back not only for the movie and the subsequent arc that retold the movie, but also the latest arc uh, with the uni Universal Tournament Saga. Oh my gosh, all the movies too! Ah! <laughs> and they're coming out with a new one. Oh man. Sorry. That's okay. I like it. It's just it's, it's expensive. <laughs> yes, I know uh, the, the habit. It it's difficult to keep up. Uh, uh, for me, I always love Vegeta because number one, he's a little guy, and I'm like, you know, I love that the prince of all the stands is the ultimate, you know, like badass guy, and he's like this little guy. I'm mm -hmm. like, thank you. That gives hope to people like me. <laughs> Toriyama specifically likes to uh, subvert conventional ideas and thinking and expectations. So looking between Vegeta and Nappa, you would think that Nappa would be the beast between the two of them. And that's what I love about that. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Is because, you know, Nappa's the one doing all the destruction and destroying everything. Vegeta's just sitting idly by and just kind of, you know, and I just thought that was so great because he's letting the weaker one go first. And I just thought that's that's great. I I, I do love that. Mm -hmm. And that ended up just helping with the whole build up that you were talking about before the expectation. Mm -hmm. It's like this guy is already just piling th through all the Z warriors, but <sighs> now just one word from Vegeta and he stops dead in his tracks. Dang. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm gonna say now I have the Blu-ray edition. For this so that it's the upgraded i mean the, the quality looks beautiful and thank you for that i was able to find the original music mm -hmm. or the 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 um the, uh, faulkner music yeah I, yeah um so they had the original japanese uh music dub, and it was fine but i'm just kind of like i'm not used to this and then uh but the thing is they they've upgraded all the voices because originally they um before Chris Sabat came in to do Vegeta and Piccolo, they had um Brian Drummond, I think was his name. Mm -hmm. And means, you know what? I'm used to him. When Ver when Vegeta is younger, I like Brian's voice because he sounds more youthful. He sounds more arrogant. Chris Sabat did this later, so he sounds older now, and yet he's supposed to be younger. And so it's a little off putting. I love his voice, especially as we go on in the series. But for the beginning of the show, it's it just kind of like it's off, and I. Well, if you I want to, if you want to track them down, I know that they did release the full uh, Blue Ocean dub, which is where Brian Drummond was uh, Vegeta. Yeah, I like that. I know that switched over. I think during the Ginyu Force arc is when yeah. they switched over all the voices. But yeah, I, I think it was literally the episode where Goku shows up to fight the Ginyu Force that they that's made the official switch. Yeah, and, and of course that's even more of a you know ear throb when you when I do my whoa what but I mean still it, it, it's just it, it's just I mean it's fine I'm, I'm, I'm used to it it's just I don't know interestingly enough Ty I was never confused by Frieza uh, I know that he was voiced by a woman and he had those effeminate uh, 
parts about him, but <laughs> I never really saw him other than as a him. Japanese thing. You have a lot of flamboyancy in a lot of male characters. And there's nothing wrong with that, but yeah, I guess to a little kid it could be a little confusing because I always thought as a kid that Frieza was a girl too. And everybody called him Lord Frieza, there he is. I'm like, hmm. Well, you. Okay, maybe that's just. A... Well, it's not just little kids. Uh, when Frieza was mm -hmm. first being dubbed, they actually thought that he was she. Part of the reason why. Well, it looks like he's. Well, his, his colors are predominantly purple. And it looks like he's wearing lipstick or something like that because of the thick black lips. So, I mean, that they're glossy. So, it's like I can understand. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that, again, anime. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I just never had an issue, even when he was being voiced by a woman. I uh, will still, I, I will still love the Android and Cell art the most, though. That. I just really love the build up of that arc because there was always something interesting happening during that one. Yes. Um, I think that's par partially where everybody said that uh, Dragon Ball Z hit its biggest stride because it was the most dramatic. It had the yeah. biggest build up. And yeah. uh, Slate. Anyway, where's my rocket launcher? Enough of this chit chat. <laughs> And Slate? Of course I remember Ghost Nappa. How can you forget about him? <laughs> I am hilarious, and you will quote everything I say. <laughs> I want a scouter. I know I can get them at the score, store very cheap, but I want one of those. Like, this guy's not going to lie. What are you doing running around the house pretending you could fly away one of those things? I I want one. Well, you could ask her why you would want to pretend to fly without one. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it wouldn't be like I'd be wearing it all the time, but it, it, I don't know. There was just, I, I, that was always my favorite. Um, I guess what would you call that? Like instrument or uh, prop, even though it's cartoon. In DBZ with the Scouters, I always liked those things. They are really cool. Um, yeah, I, I actually it's like one of those one ultimate sci-fi things, huh? I actually have one thanks to Zach. It was uh, when we were all visiting together. <gasps> That's right. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> does it make the noises and everything? Uh, yes, it does. Just a sec. Oh my god, he's gonna pull it out and start making noise. No, don't you get that? Put it back. I I got it. Dang, it's quiet, though. <laughs> it's okay. I can hear. Uh, hmm. I think its battery is dead. No, I, I can hear. There is saliva dripping from every part of my mouth right now. Hmm. I can't really get a good power reading. Oh, there we go. I've broken it. That's why. <laughs> All right, uh, the power level reading for Psycho Trigger is... Okay, Lay it on this, me, thing is, this thing is not supposed to have a setting of, oh, heck no. <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, that, that's something I want to commission you. I know all these commissions, really, sorry, eventually uh, having Psycho Trigger in a Saiyan outfit with a scouter, or even just a scouter. I just, like Ooh. in a parallel universe, Which... yeah. Which generation uh, say an outfit, though? The uh, fir first one when uh, Vegeta and Nappa showed up with those huge shoulder pads and uh, hip hip things? Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I like the classic one the most. Interesting. Uh, there, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, does that, does that mean that you also... What did you think of the original coloring for uh, Vegeta and Nappa before Toriyama actually put down what they were supposed to look like? Now, you're referring to when Vegeta had, like, almost brown hair? Uh, fully brown hair, and like, when their we... outfits were green and stuff. Oh, we didn't actually see that in the show, did we? Or was that in the first yeah. episode that came in? Yeah, it was uh, their first okay. couple of That's... appearances. In fact, uh, that episode where they went to the bug planet... 
No, did they, were they green? Originally, they were. I think they I think they cleaned it up for the uh, the Blu-ray because their hair was not uh, their, their outfits were not green. Vegeta's hair was still kind of that lighter brown, almost kind of auburn, but uh, their outfits were not green. Oh, okay. So that's probably one of the things they cleaned up in the Blu-ray transfer. Ooh, Xander, yes, all the way. Godzilla is my favorite too. I should show you my Godzilla collection. He was it, my first love when I was four years old. I have seen his collection. I can testify it is extensive. <laughs> I've actually gotten a um, a shelf, a cabinet now to put it all in, so it's not like all overflowing onto each other. So it looks a little bit more organized now. That is good news. Yay! And hopefully when you guys are able to get your own place, you'll be able to set aside some proper space for it even better. Uh, yeah. uh oh, okay. Uh, Slate wants me to tr attempt the Mr. Popo pecking order. <laughs> All right, maggots, listen up. Mr. Popo is going to teach you the pecking order. It goes you. The dirt, the worms inside of the dirt, Popo's stool, Kami, then Popo. Any questions? <laughs> Was that that's in the Kai version? No, <laughs> that's from the oh, abridged I, version. Oh, the um, the, right, right, right. Okay, when you said abridged, I just snatched it back. I'm like, oh my gosh, now I have to watch all that if that's what. <laughs> No, I, I, it would be a very interesting interpretation if they did end up doing uh, that <laughs> kind of popo. <laughs> but no, Mr. Popo on the Kai still sounds like this. Oh man! Oh yeah, do your um, do 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 your do your character from Prince and Plague, the uh, the Mario one. <laughs> it is me. It is me. Prince and Plague. Prince and Plague, you know. The one that that uh, that Nate did. Oh, oh, oh! Right. <laughs> and you were rolling your tongue. That was that was adorable. Oh, dang it! I can't remember that poor fox's name now. I know that it wasn't mine. <laughs> I do remember, however, that I really <laughs> loved those hats. The hats were everything to me. Would you like a hat? I know that you need a hat. Look at your head. It's so naked and bare. I know that you have a nice head of hair there, but think of how much better it would be if that hat was framed by a very nice hat just sitting perched right on top. Don't touch me with that hat. Get away from me. But sir, this hat is made for you. It's perfect for your head. It's better. Listen, pal, touching me is a really bad idea. No. Sir, I will not be the one touching you. This hat will. And trust me, you want this hat. It loves you so much. I can tell. And your hat will love it as well. Here, let me just put it on. The only <laughs> thing I want right now is a face fist for your face. Um, I, I don't have a hat for that. You like your kneecap? <laughs> you like your kneecaps, pal? Um, I am kind yeah. of fond of it, yes. Yeah, that's good. Now crawl away very close, very slowly, right now. I'm sorry, sir. Are you trying to just shoo me away like so much dirt? Yeah, let's go with that. I'm sorry, but I have way too much self-respect to do something like that. <laughs> Don't make me use my hat against you, sir. Oh, yeah? What's he gonna do? Bite me? Hat fight! Take, takes out uh, some saw blades from the hat. <clears throat> you should know that these things also double as very good satchels. You can fit a lot more in here than you would think. 
I'll take 251 right now. Sold! <laughs> and scene. <laughs> Ready, I will show you. I will show you. I thought that, that was a great voice that you did. That's great. Thanks. That's awesome. That, that is still the most energetic character I have ever voiced. Yeah, it's fun. It's 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 always fun to play a character like that when you, you don't have to reserve yourself. You could just kind of go crazy like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes, it is. I'm sure that uh, oh. I'm doing all sorts of stereotypes by doing that, but no, no, it's all right. And uh, hey, I'm sorry, I just looked at Ty. I saw you. That's awesome that you wear a Godzilla shirt to Disney. Yes, please get the love out there. That is awesome. <laughs> You know what it? Uh, no, when wait, you do, but no, don't wear it. Don't wear Godzilla to Disney. Yes. They'll just see it as something else to buy. Oh wait, yeah, don't then, <laughs> it, Rory. When you do voices like that, though, it reminds me so much of like something Rob Paulson would do. Uh, Rob Paulson's probably my favorite voice actor because I just love his his range and I just love all the crazy cute fun characters he does and i just when you do thing voices like that it 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 channels that i regardless if it's intentional or not i, I just totally pick up on that thank you i love rob paulson too he's done a lot of great stuff mm -hmm. over the years from all the mm -hmm. characters on animaniacs to uh playing what's his face on jimmy neutron carl mm -hmm. and where's the thing about jj Right next to the thing, my bobber. And, and then, of course, he's uh, played both Raphael and Donatello in two different versions of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja. That's right, yeah. Now he has to do Leonardo. I don't think he could do Mikey. Maybe he could do Mikey, but I, I don't know. Let's stretch a little bit. Um. Hmm. See, see, the thing is that it's been a while since I actually watched any of the Turtle stuff. And then it'd also be which version are you looking for? Because I grew up with the 2003 series. Um, and that was the one that I really didn't watch them a lot of, to be honest. Not because I didn't want to. I just, I just never got the, 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 uh, the opportunity to. I always watched the classic. And I did watch a little bit of the one that started on uh, uh, Nickelodeon uh, back in 2012, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and that was really good. I, I enjoyed that. But that's another franchise. Okay, as soon as DBZ is over, on to the turtles. Yeah, I'm, yeah. If I were to do Mikey from uh, the Nickelodeon series, I'd basically just be doing Beast Boy because he's voiced by Greg Kites. That's right, and that's the same. Essentially, not the criticizing. It's basically like the same voice, but he does he does it very well. It's it's a very it's a it's a very good voice, and I think it worked very well for 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 Mikey. It's actually really funny because uh, when my sister and I were growing up, we were watching Teen Titans and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles together. They were almost back to back when they were on the Maguzi uh, Cartoon Network block. <laughs> and we were like, if those two ever met, they would probably be the best of friends and just torture both Raphael and uh, Raven. <laughs> and now, yeah. this boy is Mikey. <laughs> what is going on? You've gone all... Topsy turvy on me. Hmm? Huh? Wow, well, the shading on that is really good. Whoa. <laughs> that was good. I don't know really what I'm doing. I'm just... <laughs> I don't care if you were doing something specific or if you were just making something up. That was good. Okay. I'm not paying you for it. Get out. <laughs> Fine. Because we don't need no freeloaders around here, okay? So either pay up or get moving. But, sir, you see, it's very cold out there. Maybe for just one night I could stay in here, please? Oh, who freaking who? Do you see the tears running down my cheeks? Uh, no, but I could arrange for some to come down your cheeks if you really wish it, sir. Um, yeah, I could arrange for some to run down your cheeks. 
but that's about the only thing that's going to be guaranteed if this thing continues any further. All right, all right. I don't want any trouble. I'll leave him peace yeah, instead of pieces. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe I can get back to a little bit of my own peace. Oh, Slate has a request for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I just saw it. <laughs> oh. Dude. Or is it just dude? Dude. Well, he said dude, dude a bunch of different ways. Dude, 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 dude. Do the dude, dude. Not a fan of Mountain Dew personally. I like Sprite. Sprite is so much better. No, 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 no. Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Now that is good stuff. OMG, I'm glad I could make you happy. You are the best. Is that all that you have to say? Actually, yeah, I'm pretty good right now. Are you quite certain that you have nothing else to add? I'm creeped out now, so uh, I don't know. A shame. I would have enjoyed hearing a little bit more out of your mouth. I'm gonna go, okay. I can go a little bit crazier if you want. And how crazy. <laughs> <That's high. laughs> Mountain Dew. No, this is a, um. Now, now, um, Dusty is actually more like, um, no, I, I can't do it right now. Now, it's more like this. This is more Dusty. He's a little bit more squeaky. I like Mountain Dew. Of course, I always like my good friend, Crown Royal. I am the king. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting. It was. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I have an there idea. Sitting... I, yeah, okay, bro. Yeah. I, 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 uh, none of your ideas are good, so no. <laughs> no, please. Yes, I, yes. I'd, li I'd like to see if you can do Dusty on a sugar high. On, on a what? On a sugar high. A sugar rush. However you want to put oh, it. Oh, man. Like... I, need to, I need to get actual food in me before I can do that. Like, I mean, I'm <laughs> okay. To... I mean, I, I don't know. I probably could. I don't know. You know, like what? Rob Paulson doing the Roadrunner? <laughs> that was impressive. But I, yeah, I, that would be my good thing. I stutter a lot sometimes. And so I don't think I'd be able to do that. I don't know. That's okay. Uh, oh, no. Bro, would you like to explain Dusty? I'm very dusty, yes. So is this room. I love my dust collection, my little dust bunnies. And I'm sure your dust bunnies love you too. Uh, but Slate doesn't seem to know what Vision Quest is or who Dusty is. Oh, um, Vision Quest is a, yeah, an audio series that Saber Claw Productions has made. Um, and Dusty is the character I do. He's a, he's a irritating little weasel. He's not irritating. Who... He's actually quite Oh, he most certainly is. He's, he's a... He's the equivalent of Jar Jar Binks and Ewoks that they had a kid oh. together. Oh, and it looked like an, uh, and it looked like a like a reject Porg version. Okay, no, you stop. <laughs> that is not true, and you know it. Made you feel, did I? <laughs> oh, look, the kitty cat hissed at me. Uh, okay, look, let's see. Dusty is actually a fan favorite character on there. He's the little weasel who wants uh, greatness but can't quite achieve it. So he's kind of been willing to make a few deals that maybe he shouldn't have in order to get it. Got an interesting story going on so far. Boy, there. who's paying you off to say this? Nobody, and that's part of the problem. I don't get paid for any of this! <laughs> No, oh, I'm sorry. No, you're not. 
I'm always sorry. That's my secret. <laughs> I thought your your secret was safe with me. Now you just put it out to the rest of the world. I never said I was good at keeping secrets. <laughs> I could, you're like, that was supposed to be a secret. Like, your secret, not mine. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> <sighs> but yes. I'm sorry, I've been, I've been drinking a little. I don't know what I'm saying. Don't don't pay any attention to me. I can't help it. You're you're right there. It's a little hard not to. A hundred bottles of thingies on the wall. Ten million bottles of jingies. What? Just go with it, okay? I'm afraid I can't do that. But my conscience won't let me. No. Oh. Oh, well, I got just the thing to shut that little pesky thing down here. Oh. <sighs> okay. Um, okay. Okay, it's not a 10. Fine, whatever. I, I, I don't... <laughs> I don't think it's a no negative. No time, actually, what fine. <laughs> the, the moon shoe star. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what... You mean, like, moonshine? Like... I hear you're the guy to come to about making some moonshine. Like, well, I can make it for you, but I don't know if you want to drink it. And I said, well, why is that? I just put some of it in that there styrofoam cup, and I'm looking at the cup, and it's like, through it. And I'm looking at it, I'm going, well, geez, if it's doing it to that cup, well, imagine what it's doing to my inside. So I thought, okay, I had enough of that. And yet you're still serving it to everybody in town. Oh, well, someone's... I'm like a prophet somehow. I mean, whatever. It's not the end of the world. There you go again. You're always making a mountain out of a molehill, a little tiny molehill. I don't care if it's been five years, ten years, fifteen years, molehills, it's just irrelevant. It is relevant when you got a, a line fictional of hallucinogenic berry. I want oh. it to be real. <sighs> what? <laughs> what was that? I have no idea. I got nothing. I'm scared. I want to hear a voice. You want to hear a voice? Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, Usually what I do is I go in my room, turn off the lights, sit there in the dark, and wait for the voices. Okay. No, see, those aren't the voices. Shh, you're, you're talking too loud now. Those are Not you. Not you. Oh. Not you. You guy. Thank um, you. Okay, now you go ahead. Uh, which one of those voices uh, was talking just now, by the way? <laughs> Remember, kids, fictional hallucinogenic berries are bad. <laughs> <laughs> so mm. just say no. Mm, drugs are bad, okay? Yeah, that's right, they are bad. So don't do it. Save yourself a lot of heart heartaches. <laughs> Honestly, officer, don't arrest me. I've got six wives and two kids. And at least four of those wives are actually real. I don't know. You've been hitting I love it when I confuse you. people. In oh, it didn't work. I, I love when I confuse people into silence. <laughs> Sorry. I am able to keep, no, up, keep I, up sometimes. Sometimes. No, no, no. I'm not criticizing. I said I, I I I enjoy that. It's 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 funny. Of course, Sky has another way of looking at that. She'll just shut down and she'll just ignore me. And he's like, I'm not listening to you when you when you do those voices. I said, Well, I gotta let him out some way. <laughs> Otherwise you're gonna find them pairing up on the nightly news, and we don't want that. I don't know what she's complaining about. She knew what she was marrying. That's what I was saying. It's not my fault she made a bad deal. Well, I don't think she made a bad deal. Oh, okay, fine. I'll be positive. It wasn't a bad deal, but she definitely got one of those marked down prices. You know, like those after Christmas sales where you're thinking, hey, something that used to be 100 bucks is now like, you know, 
$14.95. Like, hey, that's a great deal to jump on it. But it's one of those ones that was in the way back, so you know it's not as good and fresh as the ones that were out beforehand. That's 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 me. Uh, Fox had to go up probably to eat, Ty. <gasps> Chinese! Uh, yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. Uh, like I said, uh, this is this guy. Not me. I don't know who he is. Crazy guy. You know, way out there. Yeah, yeah, he may or may not take all the Chinese. I don't think it was good, though. I mean, I, I would know because I need it. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you know, I never realized that. Yeah, I guess Dusty could sound a little bit like Yakko because Rob Paulson's such an inspiration to me as a voice actor. So, <laughs> I, I, I guess so a little bit. Just don't ask me to recite all the states and capitals around the world because I can't do it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you're going to do it? Please Go ahead. No, please name all the words in the English dictionary. A through Z. There, I did it. Nice try. I, I didn't ask for the abridged version of the alphabet. Well, that's what you're getting, pal. I well, couldn't come... get the abridged version of DBZ, so I'm getting the abridged version of the dictionary. No, come on, come on, dude! You said don't ask Are they still you to flying do in the... space. <laughs> you said don't ask you to do the uh, nations of the world. So I didn't. Instead, I am demanding that you do every single word in the English dictionary. Like yeah. Might I remind there. you? Yes. In a most in a firm but kindly manner, that I am a guest here. Yes. And I demand to be treated as a guest should be. Oh, dude, you don't Still want Don't be putting unrealistic and unreasonable demands on me, or I'm going to leave, and I'm never going to come back, and I'm going to give this place a very poor rating. Dude, you don't want me to treat you like a guest. And what is that? Do you really want me to treat you like a guest? Well, I, I, now I'm confused. Uh, maybe? No, <laughs> 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 Trust me, you don't want that. United Canada, Mexico. How is that even possible? How are you eating dinner? I told you, I, I mean, my friend, I mean, random guy, I have no idea who he is, took it. It's like, no, that was like, you're like, no, man, that wasn't his food that he took. Well, then what truck did I overturn? It was. I guess there's more than one Chinese car out there delivering food. Well, there usually are more than one Chinese food places. Though I pr usually prefer uh, Chinese buffets rather than order ins, just because more variety and you can just choose what you want, and it's all for a relatively cheap price. And just think, for nine nine ninety five, it can all be your f the price is right. But you just told me the price. <laughs> okay, let's start over. Everybody pretend like you didn't hear that. <gasps> I am so sorry, Xander, if I ate your food. No, but he's not. <clears throat> if it's any consolation, it was good. Actually, no, it was terrible. So I probably saved you from food poisoning and like half a dozen diseases. So, so, so hey, he owes you now. I wouldn't chisel that into a stone tablet, but you know what? Let's go with that. Yeah, that's serviceable. Yes, yes, you owe me. And now, the nations of the world, sung by Dusty. I already told you I can't do that. Thank you for asking, but no, I respectfully <laughs> decline. <laughs> Fine. I'll tell you what, you bring me yeah. two bottles of actually, Crown Royal and I'll meet you there halfway. Actually, you know what? Now now I'm curious. You're curious about a lot of things, and that gets me into trouble usually, but okay, sure. What are you curious about now? I want to see how far I can get before I screw up. All right. Oh my gosh, she's actually looking it up. <laughs> Not only looked it up, but found and look and here i am with nothing to drink while enjoying the show mm. oh fooey okay here we go 
United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Republic Dominican, Cuba, Caribbean, Grenada, El Salvador, too, Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guyana, and still Guatemala, Bolivia, and then Argentina, and Ecuador, Chile, Brazil, Costa Rica, Belize, Nicaragua, Bermuda, Bahamas, Tobago, San Juan, Paraguay, Uruguay, Suriname, and French Guiana, Barbados, and Guam. So sorry, Bonsai, but if I didn't have the lyrics here, I wouldn't be be getting past El Sal Salvador. It's still a challenge uh, because I usually still screw up even with the lyrics in front of me. That's better than me. I was still stuck on on uh, Canada. <laughs> Norway and Sweden and Iceland and Finland and Germany. Now one piece. Switzerland and Austria, Czechoslovakia, Italy, Turkey and Greece, Pol Poland, Romania, Scotland, Albania, Ireland, Russia, Oman, Bulgaria, Saudi Arabia, Hungary, Cyprus, Iraq, and Iran. There's Syria, Lebanon, Israel, Jordan, both the Yemen's Kuwait, and Bahrain, the Netherlands, Luxembourg, Belgium, and Portugal, France, and French, England, Denmark, and Spain. See, ah, I you see. <laughs> That's a very lovely voice you have. <laughs> well done. <Thanks. laughs> now, that song I could sing, Ty. 99 bottles of the fear. Is that right? Is that typo? Fear on the... She's referencing Vision Quest. Um, oh, that's right. On the uh, on the, the, the thing, the big thing over there. At a... At a... Um, the other thing over there. Oh, this is hard work. <laughs> Hey, come back to me later, okay? I'm still figuring this out. Dusty, you're drunk. <laughs> no, that's not. This is Dusty. Oh, what have I been drinking? Um, Maybe I need more moonberries. No, you do not need more moonberries. But I Stop. like a moonberry. I'm sure you do, but I don't think they like you much. Oh no, they're my friends. No, they are tricking you into thinking that they are your friends. Come on now, g give them up. G give me the moonberries. Come on. Mm -hmm. no, 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 don't swallow. No, no. Spit them out. Spit, spit. Ah. Ew. <laughs> Weasel drool. Is that poison? Oh, I thought, I thought it tasted a little. I was gonna say fishy, but that's not right. <laughs> okay, um, we gotta get you to the vet then. Come on. What did I say before? Don't like hospitals. Don't like doctors. Not gonna happen. No, sir. No, that was Psycho Trigger or Ash saying that they didn't like doctors. You have not said anything about vets. No, that so. was actually the real. That was actually the real Drew saying it. At least I think it was. I don't know. I don't. Now I don't see what you've done. You open the bottle. Now they're all out, and I can't keep them all together. Now, way to go! I hope you're happy. Sanders, stop encouraging the drink. <laughs> Aw, gee. But it tastes so good. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, that's in Cessnock. I guess so. Ah, who is now? Well, I guess technically in Cessnock they'd be called healers, but, you know, oh. they're still animal doctors, so technically there's vets. Oh, Slate wants us to do our golem thing, my precious. Come on, Ray. We want oh, it. We need it. Must have the precious. <laughs> Ooh. I want you to do that. Your turn. Oh, but I'm not tired. I'll just sit here while you keep doing it. How about I should have darn it, I should have gone first because clearly I can't I can't follow that act. Yes, you can, and you know you can. Come on. No, I don't want to. I want to sit here and do my Benedict Cumberbatch voice. <laughs> like when he's talking American. <laughs> so basically Doctor Strange? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that was awesome. No, that's not. Yes, it is.
No. 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 Yes, it is precious. It is. Sudden. Your sight of light more time. It is precious. It is. I'm back. back. Hello. All right. That's strike two for you. Now you do one more time. <laughs> you're hitting the rocket launcher in the face. <laughs> yeah, just keep laughing. It's not going to be funny when you don't have a face to laugh with, Pat. Uh, oh, dear. So how was the food? Oh, it was, it was good. Um, I'm disappointed. I was hoping it was going to be gross and uneating. Oh, that's lovely of you to think that and wish death upon me. Sorry, I was trying to be positive, okay? Um, you went positive. Worst case scenario is that you would have died eating it. Best case scenario is it just didn't taste good and you threw it away, okay? Jeez, excuse <sighs> me for looking at the bottle half full for a change. Oh, it usually God. never is. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? you just terrible. Terrible, terrible. I dare plenty of things. Mm, terrible. Very, very terrible. Terrible. <sighs> no, it's not terrible. It's just not good. Yeah, well, I'll keep it. <clears throat> so, any more voice requests? <laughs> For Drew, I guess? <laughs> no, I don't... I'm not doing voice requests. I told you, you just... You you found somehow you found the key to my head and you opened it up and now you let all the little goons and goblins out. Way to go! <laughs> I don't know. They seem. Like I blame both of you for this. I wasn't even here. Exactly, and yet it's somehow still it's partially your fault. That's quite a feat, Fox. I try. Oh, one second. One second. Oh, okay. Um, oh. the thing about doing um voices that are uh Garlem and Stitch are kind of similar. Well, well, just, Stitch, Stitch is a little more cute, the, you know. a, little, a little bit, but well, that's basically just smooth all. Yeah, I know. So that's the thing. Yeah, this is basically the same thing. Uh, can't try Hank Hill. I never watched uh, King of the Hill. I have, but that was a long time ago. So I, uh, I know his voice is kind of. No, I can't do it. I, I need to. I need to watch it. I know his voice is very droll, very slow, but um, I, I can't. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe another bottle of whiskey could help me. No. No more whiskey for you. You've had Who are you to deny me my joy juice? Get lost. I am the Tiger Wall 55. Yeah, I know you've been seeing that line for over five years. Doesn't mean much then, doesn't mean anything now. Hey, let's let go of that bottle. No, it's let mine. Go. Let go of the bottle. I bought this with my own money. Well, okay, I stole from somebody else, but then it was mine, so technically it was my money then, and then I bought it, which no. I don't really know why, because I really don't like buying things. I'm more like, you know, stealing, blowing things up, but you know where I'm going with this. No, it's mine. Yeah, it's not. You know it's not. Come on. Uh, sorry, Ty. Don't watch The Simpsons either, so um, don't really have I, a I don't know. I, uh, let's see, Krusty the Clown? Oh god, kinda like this, right? Or <laughs> look I, I I can't right now. Good grief. What's wrong, Foxy? Do you need a hug? <laughs> no, I, I just come back to hear all these crazy voices. You've been doing crazy just... voices for the past half hour. Yeah, well, I haven't been here. You've unlocked my true potential. Now there's no stopping it. The Dark Phoenix has been unleashed. Oh, no. Not the Dark Phoenix. That movie's going to suck. Hey, we don't say suck. And even if we did, that movie certainly doesn't. Um, It hasn't come out yet. Exactly. So don't be judgmental. Go ahead. Make my day. Ooh, who did that? Was that you, Fox? That was Fox. That was me. Very good. Doing Very nice. Clint Eastwood for 
Hi. <laughs> my one of my friends is really getting into a lot of Clint Eastwood's western films that he did. Um, so he probably could do a good one after all the films he's watched. Why does that wolf look so angry? Quit staring at me. <laughs> I can't help it. Okay, this is who I am. Learn to deal with it or medicate me. And even then, it's not probably not going to do that much. If he could, he probably would medicate you. There are enough drugs on the planet. <laughs> he find them. <laughs> well, cheerio, chin chin, then, if that's the case. Uh. I don't like awkward silence. Somebody say something. Uh. I, I swear, if you say something, as in the word something, you're 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 going through the wall. No, no, no. I was sometimes. To... Oh. <laughs> I hate it when you make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he's pretty. He's getting pretty good at that evil laugh. Yes, he is. I'll teach he him. He should be concerned. No, no, not concerned. It's still on the level of I mean you no know, harm kind of laugh. It's teetering, but it's not quite over the edge yet. <laughs> I'll know when it's over there. Oh boy. I know somebody Not mentioned yet, earlier. There. Hmm? I know somebody mentioned earlier a meetup between a Tota character and one of the Guardians characters. I'm telling you right now, that's not going to happen because they're in two separate continuities. <laughs> Although the irony there is that it kind of. Uh, or maybe I'm not allowed to say something. Yet. You can't. Yeah, not not yet. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. Never mind. That's why I cut myself off. Hey, I actually showed restraint. Wow, <laughs> I am growing as a person. That's great because yeah. we don't want to spoil the scene in ep episode seven where we have that uh, giant fight that's set with the squid monster made out of marshmallows. <laughs> yeah, yeah about, that's... That, about that prop. I ate it. Marshmallows are good. Dude. Dude. You weren't supposed Next. to do that. Okay, there's a little thing called making something that's not edible. You're just inviting chaos when you do something like that. Excellent. Oh, oh my gosh, you zoomed in on the face. Now I can see how he looks angrier even more clearly now. It's like he's looking into my soul. Oh, you're not you're not looking hard enough. There's nothing in there to take out. There. He's staring about as intently as he can. Let's see if I can make him make him laugh. Boop, got your nose. Anger <laughs> intensifies. Wow. Yeah, really? <laughs> I bet that's the guy I stole the Chinese food from. Actually, yep. he very well might. Has anybody asked what this picture is from? Uh, no. Apparently, people are just willing to accept werewolf yep. knights. I guess so. I think that's awesome. Well, werewolf I, knights. Like, why in the world that hasn't become more of a common thing in comics and shows and stuff is beyond me. Probably because people like to get lazy whenever they do werewolves. You know, they most werewolf movies, TV shows, and stuff. They usually just pr portray. Yep. Evil werewolves as berserk monsters. They don't actually yep. consider wolf traits or anything. They just mm -hmm. run around, wreck stuff, and kill Which them. is fine with some of them, like some of the classics. I'm okay with that. But yeah, this day and age, when we have so much... I mean, there was creativity back in the day, don't get me wrong. But the way that society is more accepting to more things now with storytelling and that, because how much more over-the-top and loony it can get, but still fun, it, you figure they should be more like bold to try and do things like this i mean all the different things they did with vampires regardless if it's good or not i mean so yeah i don't get it well vampires just seem to be a little bit more popular than werewolves overall 
Uh, werewolves are cooler, though. I uh, know, I agree, but sadly, they don't. See in that. fact, just for that, for an entire day, I'm going to go around wearing my, my, my wolf head. Please do. <laughs> I can't yes. wait for the weather to warm up fully so that I can uh, get into my shed. Maybe He'll I'll start making... There for... wait, hmm? He'll be in there from dawn till dusk. Oh, I don't know about that long, but I certainly wanted to uh, get myself going in there to be able to make more masks and uh, costumes and stuff like that. Just gonna be like, hey Rory, how you doing? Walks past into the shed. <laughs> Click. That was a great conversation. I think he's doing great. Eight hours later, opens shed, comes out, goes to bed. <laughs> That's basically what I do right now with uh, my drawing and stuff. So <laughs> my, fa my family just tends to say, hi, you know, we love you. We miss you. <laughs> hey, Rory's still here. All right. High five. Ugh, no, Ty, do not mention the underworld vampire werewolves i don't even i don't even watch the underworld movies and i know that's bad oh no I actually those movies oh those movies were actually really good now i mean yeah there were some ideas in there that were a little hokey but actually i really like those ones didn't most people say that while it was a cool concept with the uh werewolf vampire they kind of wasted it um, yeah, a little bit. And th that's really, in all honesty, that's not even like the best part of the film. I just really like the, it has a good mythology to it. The actors and characters and the cinematography is really good. In fact, uh, back when we were doing Toda, Sky took a lot of inspiration for Silver Fang from Celine, Kate Beckinsale's character. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. She really got on board with her character and was just like, yeah. We had watched, I had, she had never seen the films before when we watched them all maybe about uh, a little over a year ago. And she really, she really got into them because I think the last one had just come out in theaters. So we had watched them all just before that. And yeah, I mean, yeah, they're not the best films to, to represent vampires and werewolves, but the mythology is actually quite, quite good. I, 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 I enjoy it. But yeah, I mean, there's, I don't know, there's never going to be a clear, definitive, um, you know, look or thing. I mean, everybody has their favorites, but I do too, Ty. Thank you. One thing's for sure, though. Werewolves with tails will forever be a rarity. I'll have a tail. <laughs> yeah, it is weird, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Huh. Tails I... are defining. I guess... I guess it's kind of because, uh, you know, most werewolf transformations like to show off the various aspects of uh, the transformation. Focusing on the tail growing could get a little awkward considering where you have to focus. Oh, yeah, I understand. You don't have to necessarily show it in the transformation, but just having it there after the fact. I mean... Mm. Yeah. Then again, I don't think that we're going to be getting any any uh, more great werewolf transformations. It sounds like after uh, An American Werewolf in London and The Howling, they just kind of gave up. Yeah, I uh, when it comes to live action uh, werewolf films that don't use CGI or it's not animation, or my favorite look will be The Howling. Just I just love that look. Like it's a ferocious werewolf, but it's still it's still kind of animated in its own way because it looks so over the top, but I just love the look of it. Mm -hmm. um, but the yeah, best transformation is the Miracle Werewolf in London. Ironically, they, those both came out the same year, 1981. Um, and they both were great examples of how innovative and creative and fun werewolf films could be. And I think instead of other films that had come out in the year since trying to do something unique or different, They've all tried to be those movies. Well, those films and, of course, Wolfman with Lon Chaney and, and the oh, 40s Universal Horror. You know, those were those are like the ones that those three, I think, were the ones that most people just seem to want to 
recreate instead of instead of you know making something unique or special it's always like oh let's go and let's go do that route again because you know that hasn't been, been done a gazillion times let's make it a gazillion and one i think at this point a lot of uh people who do these uh werewolf movies and stuff don't actually think that you can do different uh stories with werewolves it's either they are victims and they hate their curse and are just destined to die in order to get rid of it or they love it and they are the monsters mm -hmm. therefore they are not the main characters and we're following whoever they're fighting again this is why underworld did a really good job of that actually because the third one is a prequel which focuses more on the werewolves and they were actually slaves to the vampires and they were the heroes of that story the war werewolves so, so big props to that mm -hmm. so i think um uh, if you didn't want to watch the films, uh, Rory, fine, like as a franchise, but I would highly recommend the third film at the very least, just because it takes place like in the medieval time and it's got that most fantasy like feel to it. And you don't have to watch the other films to necessarily appreciate it because there's, no, there's enough of a recap because it all takes place before everything else happens. Well, and you you've also, got, yeah. You're also running into the fact that I'm just not a horror fan either. I, I, oh, well, the, no, no, I, I, I understand. I appreciate that. The thing about Underworld is they're kind of in the middle ground between horror and action. I mean, there are some scary things in some of the films. But overly, they're not meant to scare you. Yeah, they have some blood in it and such, and you know, but they're not overly graphic. They're more like a, a, a more kind of like a – they're gothic. They're not really meant to terrify you. And like I said, the third one especially is more of a love story that has, of course, violence in it and such, but it's – you know, the, the, the violence and the, and the horror of those films were, were, I felt, always very tastefully done. They weren't, um, I mean, as the films went on, they got a little bit more cheap and they weren't as well put together. But I think the first three films were pretty good. And then they, they've done five. And four and five were okay, but I don't think they were as good, personally. But just going by, like, what you like, and I know the type, like, of pictures and characters and things, I think you probably would, uh, would really like that one. It's called Rise of the Lycans. Because it off offers a really cool backstory too, which is another thing that a lot of movies now with using vampires and werewolves don't do is offering an actual origin story that's really creative and original. Even if necessarily not everybody likes it, at least you can say, hey, they were trying to do something different. Wasn't that the one with the guy from Frost Nixon? Yes, uh, Michael Sheen. He's, uh, he's very good. He's, he's the main uh, werewolf. And the thing about that is that in the first film, he's kind of like the villain character. But the twist of it is you think he's the villain, but in the end of it, you realize he's really not. He's a tragic character. And I really liked that twist. And then in the third film was a prequel. It tells all about his story and how he went from being kind of the victim to the leader of his of his uh, his uh, race and everything like that. So it's actually a really good uh, uh, story. And the main vampire is played by Bill Nighy, who played Davy Jones in the Pirates of the Caribbean films. And another really good actor who plays a vampire to perfection, like over the top, but just very well, very comic booky, but like in a good way. Okay. So I, don't, I mean, I I understand what you're saying, um, but I still think there are elements about those films. Again, particularly the third one that I think you would take a lot away from and actually really enjoy it, uh, from a story perspective, uh, from a character perspective, and definitely the. Um, uh, yeah, the, the 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 werewolf designs are decent. They're not amazing. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying the effects, but the actual way that they made them look is good. It's not my favorite look, but I I do enjoy them. Uh, from from what I saw from the trailers and stuff, they looked okay. Um, but it, it just me or <laughs> did all the wolves except for one or two end up bald? Oh, I I know what you mean. Well, you see, the thing with that is. There's two different types of werewolves. There's the purebreds, and then there's the lichens. The purebreds, the original werewolves, there's they're just pure beasts. They can't change back into humans. And then uh, Michael Sheen's character Lucian was the first uh, lichen who could be a werewolf but still be a person at the same time. So it was like a it was like a next generation kind of a thing. So that the race became more intelligent then, and because of that, their their werewolf forms looked more humanoid um of a, whereas the purebreds look more wolf-like so again another credit to the story they were really you know 
trying to individualize that. And they did the same thing with the with the vampires too. Uh, you know, giving them. I mean, there was a lot of cliches, of course, as you would expect in stories like this. But there was enough originality and creativity in it that made it something a little bit more special. And it's always it's unfortunate because Underworld just seemed to always kind of drop below the radar with a lot of people. Um, it, it was never as big of a of a hit that I think it should have been. I mean, I didn't. I mean, it didn't need to be like huge, but comparing that to like say the likes of sorry Twilight, which became a sensation overnight because of its target audience with the teens, it, it's just really a sad thing to say that Twilight made you know millions and millions of dollars with its franchise, and, and the movies are clearly not good. <laughs> and Underworld, although not perfect has a lot of ingenuity and creativity and interesting ideas that I'd not seen in those kind of stories before, and yet they always suffered because maybe it just wasn't what the audiences were um, expecting or wanting it to be. But despite that, the the creators of it, and it's been the same writer-directors uh, who's been working on, I think, every single one of them, they've still pushed forward with the, the story. I mean, yeah, there have been some ideas that they did where it was like, eh, that wasn't so good. Yeah, the whole... Uh, making a hybrid of a werewolf and a vampire. I mean, it was kind of like, huh? But the way they used it in the story, it, I got why they wanted to do it. It made sense. It wasn't like, oh, this will look cool. Um, but so, I mean, there there was reasoning for why they did things the way they did in the in the movie. There was also like another, yeah, I think it was in the fourth one, they had like a super giant werewolf thing, which looked really cool. And again, so they had these really, I'm not saying like Godzilla size, I'm saying like maybe Hulk size. <laughs> um, but, so they had some just really interesting ideas, um, and I, I I wish more people – because honestly, I did not watch the films myself until maybe about – oh, my friend showed them to me maybe back in 2009, 2010. I think the first three films that had come out at that point, and I love Vampires and Werewolves, and I never thought to watch these films. And he said, man, I know what you like. Trust me. You will like these films, and he was absolutely right. I said, wow, I don't know why I waited this long to – to watch them. I think because I was turned off at the idea that Kate Beckinsale, the way she was looking in the trailers, like she was trying to be like the Matrix so she was shooting her guns and stuff and all the slow motion stuff. And I was so tired of that style because every movie wanted to be the mate, every action movie wanted to be the Matrix after the Matrix came out. And I just didn't like that idea of having a vampire werewolf film be like that. But and yeah, there are parts of it that, that do that, but there's other parts of it that make up for it. Anyway. Mm. Oh, uh, no thanks. I have to drive in a little bit. I can't drink any beer right now, but thank you. And, and yeah, Xander uh, um, uh, listed it perfectly. Under, Underworld was uh, it was an action film with horror elements. And again, horror doesn't necessarily have to mean it's meant to scare you. It just means that uh, it has characters in it that are from horror you know, backgrounds, you know, I, I'm trying to think of other examples of that. Like, uh, Hellboy. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could say that Hellboy has horror elements and I just wa watched those films too, for the first time last year. Um, and yeah, I enjoyed those. I thought they were very fun. Um, but yeah, again, they're not meant to scare you. They're just, they just, you know, it's a, it's a beast that looks like the devil. So it's kind of like, yeah, oh, that's gotta be horror. It's like, wait, it's, taken from something horror related but it doesn't mean it doesn't have to scare you i think but of course there are other genres that do that as well where you know yeah most fantasy will incorporate most uh sci-fi horror uh sci-fi and fantasy will incorporate what you could uh consider horror elements because mm -hmm. you're always going to have like the giant monsters to fight right i get I guess it's in how it's presented because usually in adventure sci-fi and fantasy uh, the monster is something to defeat, uh, an obstacle like the Balrog. Whereas in horror, mm -hmm. it's it's the thing that's going to kill you, like, like the right. alien mm -hmm. from Aliens. Right. Um. Oh, and and, and yeah, technically, uh, Ty was saying, didn't Blade do the bullet time thing first? Yeah, it did. You're right, it did, and that was back in '98. Yes, you could say that Underworld got some of its ideas from Blade as well. Mm -hmm. Um. Although I I like played a lot. Wesley Snipes was good in there, but I prefer Underworld in terms of it. Although, honestly, I've not watched Blade a lot, so I think I probably stands a little... It's one of those movies um, I think that ended up getting dated. Um, it was kind of cool for the time. I didn't watch it. Um, 
I was way too young, and I still don't really like Blade much as a character. Um, but the if, looking back on it now, it did set up some of what you would see later on in like uh, the X Men and uh, mm -hmm. some other uh, more modern superhero films. But yeah, Blade was kind of the first one, one of the first ones to kind of set up the the Marvel age of post two thousand. You know, X Men yeah. came out in two thousand. Blade was ninety eight, so it was kind of setting the, the 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 tropes or setting the the groundwork for it. Yeah, I'm not going to give it too much credit for that though, because no. it probably drew in more of the horror crowd than anything else. Because mm -hmm. I don't think anybody outside of hardcore Marvel fans actually knew that Blade was a comic book character. Right. Right. Yeah, that's probably that's that's true. Well, unless you watch Spider Man the animated series. <laughs> Which I did. Yeah, and I see um Ty, uh Dawnbreakers and Thirty Days a Night are definitely more horror films. You know, Underworld is something that's more kind of fantasy action with horror elements, whereas Dawnbreakers is definitely more I mean, Dawnbreakers was good, but it, it, it was definitely more of a film that had the graphic violence. It was definitely meant to have the scary parts in it. And 30 Days a Night is just a straight-up horror film. I mean, there, there is no way around that. So it's a clever idea for one, but it, it – yeah. So that's, that's an example of using vampires and using them for straight-up horror, not necessarily using them for – and that's fine. I, I like that you can have these – these characters, these these uh, specific, you know, whether it's vampires, werewolves, any of these kind of characters, and you can use them in different different uh, subgenres. They don't have to just use. And that's what we were saying about werewolves is that it's so frustrating that it seems like they always do the one trick pony with them that there's there's no versatility to them. When this conversation got started with, you know, werewolves in armor and thinking, yeah, why don't they do things like that? Because clearly there is an audience for that. Yeah. And I think that audience yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that likes this kind of thing is 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 growing. Um, I'm not saying anything. No, not, not you. I know <laughs> it wasn't that. I was just like, I know. <laughs> and I honestly was not going anywhere. With that. I'm just saying in general. Yes, the general public. So I just don't understand. I, mean, I understand that people are thinking, well, we can't take a risk like that. And I'm like, yeah, but you're living in an age now where you feel like when something like Guardians of the Galaxy comes out and people accepted that and loved it then you feel like they should be able to take other risks and do things like this then. I mean, come on. It's not yeah, that Hollywood's been ridiculous. Yeah, Hollywood's been pumping out so much of the same kind of stuff now for years that people are clamoring for more of the different ideas. Part of the reason why the indie movie scene is actually starting mm -hmm. to pick up in some ways. Yeah, absolutely. That is a really mm -hmm. nice touch, uh, showing the reflection of the hand and the staff and the armor. That's like something that Never, never would have thought to do if I was <laughs> first off in the parallel universe where I was able to draw something like this. I never would have thought to do that. That's no, no I'm not being all poor me about it. I'm just saying that that's just really cool. Thank you. Yeah, this is actually <laughs> almost done. I just need to add some light on the helmet and then. Oh, now, you're, now you're going to have to do a, another one because you can't stop doing these streams. Uh, I might be busy doing other stuff. Um, I have a few other commitments that I need to take care of. This this has been my relaxing picture, my break after uh, doing a uh, bunch of different stuff through the holiday season. Not just from Christmas, but uh, from uh, October through Christmas. Um, and I'm going to have a bunch of stuff after this as well. Um, Fox knows what some of those are. And yep. I just needed to do this uh, for my own sake. Just every so often, an artist his own sanity. <laughs> every so often, an but artist doing, just needs to be able. But doing to streams do are fun. I know. I might try to find some other thing that I can stream, or uh, maybe Fox will. Well, we'll be talking. Um, <laughs> For, for right now, this might be the last of my streams, at least for the foreseeable in the near future. Actually, well, no, Guardians of the Galaxy was still kind of a risk because while it had the Marvel name attached to it, um, I don't think that it was that safe a bet because 
it still involved a lot of weird stuff and if it had been in the hands of a director who banked just on the weird it would have failed hmm interesting mm -hmm. well it would have it, it would have uh, achieved some success but not nearly what it did <laughs> the success of a raccoon with a big gun yes. in space. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to new the, the, the new idea of entertainment. We're going to be seeing foxes everywhere now. I'm well, we need it. We they can't just use raccoons. <laughs> well, eh, so it goes. But yeah, oops, didn't expect that. All right, but yeah, I think that this picture is actually done. And, Congratulations. Uh, yay. And for this, I would like to officially show the before and after. Go right ahead. So let me. Oh, come on. Don't. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we might get a Star Fox movie. We might not. First, let's see if we can get another game. They're doing another Mario movie, that's for sure. Uh, well, we're expecting that uh, video game shared universe. <laughs> All right. Oh, that would be yet another nightmare of sorts. Well, someone actually posited that Disney might try to do a fairy tale live action shared universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God okay. help us all. Indeed. Okay, so here we have the two versions of this picture. Wow. Uh, Remember the original one from the from the book. Yeah, that's they're both good. I mean, I, yeah, yeah. But now you can see the uh, differences between the two, and yeah, hopefully a little bit of the advancement in technique that I've had since. Yeah, that's expected that you you grow and. In... I know. I think advanced. both are pretty darn good. I think, in too. my opinion. But, yeah. Well, for this one, I might end up doing a little bit more cleanup before I post it onto my DeviantArt. But, yeah, I'm going to declare it done. Yay, done. And that ends the live streams of the Tiger Wolf 55, at least for now. Thank you all for joining me on this little trip. <laughs> it was a fun trip. I am glad. And I'm glad that you two were able to join me for the finale of this journey. Mm -hmm. You're most welcome. All right. Well, for now, I think that I'm going to get off. I need to get some dinner. And these two have things that they need to do as well. Am I right? Yep. <laughs> I need to get things ready for um, um, the inevitable um, press Q&A conference thing that we're going to hold for uh, the reboot. Now, is, that stuff. 
Now, is that just uh, for you and your showrunners, or are you going to have some of your actors and production staff on there too? Uh, showrunners at the moment. Okay. Well, I look forward to it, and hopefully everybody else will as well. Uh, for everybody here and who might be watching later on, please go find the Fox and the Fedora and Z Media on YouTube and subscribe to them both. Uh, there is exciting stuff coming from them this summer and beyond. And yes. Both, and both Drew and I are part of these. Yep. Okay, for now though, I'm going to say good night and thank you all once again for joining us. Bye. Bye. Bye.